Surfing Sasquatch by the X-Ray Cat Trio for James Clark. He asked me a while ago to do some tabs for him, so I've done that. You can download them somewhere. I'm going to hopefully have them pop up around here as well. Here's what it should sound like. There's an easy way to do these bar chords if you want. That's a G, so you can simply play a G chord. You could also just do a power chord. Or you could even do the top half of the chord. There's loads of ways you can do it. You can play it like that. You can play it with your thumb. You can let some notes ring out if you want. And the same with the B. If you don't want to do that, if you don't want to do the bar chord on the B, you can do it over here. Again, you can do some of it. There's ways you can make stuff easier for yourself. If you want, you can add in a little bit of an E chord because we're playing an E. Just fills it out a bit. It's simply uh, the top three strings, which is your E minor chord. That's the intro, you do it four times, and you do this little bit. that a couple of times. There's some embellishments in there and we'll get to them in a bit. You go back to the intro. And then there's a fun little uh, fast surf bit, kind of like what Dick Dell used to do. Which is just a case of picking as fast as you can. It takes a little bit of practice. That's just something you can do when you sat in your pants watching The Simpsons or Friends, True Blood, Frasier, The News. So it's, that should sound something like this. And you end it with your uh, C7, B7. And then you got a cool little pentatonic thing going on. Whammy bar, you can do a little tickle there. A little tickle. Don't need to do that, but it's fun. Okay, next we've got this little chordy descending kind of bit. We got your same chords we're using before C7, B7, E minor, G. And you got some little interim notes there as well, descending down. So we got. You 
could add in like a little slide here as well. Which is just your Dick Dale picking. But you're going for your B and your G string there. And you, you picking somewhere high like the 15th note. 17th. Just ragging on them too for a bit all the way down so you can fit that into your, your playing somehow. You can do that on your top two strings as well. Or anywhere. Another little thing you can add in is a little cheeky bend on your on your G string. Give it a little wiggle. There we go. Surfing Sam Squanch for James Clark. So yeah, that brings us to the end where you just start your intro again. And on a E major. I've heard some Japanese surf bands doing that. They like to end on a major when they've been playing in a minor. It's got a name for it, I can't remember what. I might try and make that pop up somewhere if I can do that. Let's see how that goes. Let us know if that worked for you, if you've learned something. If you want to want me to go through something, let me know. Chuck us a message right in the comments. Cool. And uh, subscribe and all that. Do a clicky click. Check these out. Buy one of these beer nappies. Mmm, fresh. Okay.